Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name's Nick and this is our first run review of the Tracksmith Elliott Runner. So the Tracksmith Elliott Runner is the first shoe entirely made by Tracksmith, which obviously is mainly known for its running clothes. And it's designed to be a neutral daily trainer. It's a do-it-all shoe that obviously looks good. It's got the classic Tracksmith styling there, but is also designed to be a high-performance running shoe that you can use for you know, a variety of runs comfortably. Uh, it's available for pre-order now, and it's going to ship in late January, is what their website says at the moment. It's a pretty expensive shoe. It costs $198 and £198. Uh, it weighs in at 254 grams or 8.9 five ounces so just under nine ounces and that's in a uk eight uh, the sizing on this we'll talk about later but it does come up a, a bit big if you go for your normal size it's got a nine millimeter drop from heel to toe and the stack height is 33.5 millimeters at the heel so 24.5 at the toe upper is an engineered mesh with suede around the eyelets and the collar of the shoe which is you know, very nice you also got the woven sash design which is typical for tracksmith and that also apparently helps with midfoot lockdown the midsole is the most interesting part of the shoe i would say it's made from super critical p-backs and that's the insole and the midsole so you've got a really quite a thick insole on the shoe which is a little bit softer than the p-backs used for the actual midsole of the shoe which is a bit firmer more responsive kind of classic dual density design you see in lots of shoes you get that comfortable landing on the soft foam but as you sink in you hit a slightly firmer foam to get a more, more responsive feel and a more energetic toe off and you've got a rubber outsole with pretty good coverage and little slight little lugs there in the front there so grip should be quite good all in all, it's going to be a really interesting shoe, I think. Um, it obviously looks fantastic. Like, I'm not a very stylish person, but I really love the look of the shoe. It's the first time I've probably been a little bit uh, gutted about the fact it's very wet, and tomorrow when I run the shoe, I'm going to ruin its good looks. But yeah, also, I think Trackman have done a great job with the marketing around it. All the copywriting on the website is very evocative, talking about New England trails. They've done a really good job on that front. All the marketing and good looks in the world isn't going to matter that much if it doesn't run well. So I'm going to take it out for a 10-mile run uh, and see how it performs, how it feels underfoot. So the fit of the Elliott Runner is definitely an odd one. It definitely runs big. Uh, so I got a UK size 80, which is a full size down on my normal size, and it fits you know, quite nicely. It'll be the size I'd go for. Now I'm quite small for my size, but I definitely recommend going um, down at least half a size and potentially a full size to get a good fit in it because it's just a bit long. I don't know if that's something to do with its unisex sizing or something like that, but yeah. Otherwise, it fits really nice. You know, good fit around the heel and midfoot. You've got these really wide, big laces. Don't like running laces, but they are comfortable and the fit is really nice. So no concerns about the fit, but I'm a full size down and that fits really well. So just heading out for first run in the Tracksmith Elliott Runner. Um, could be very interesting today. I don't really know what to expect from the shoe. It's a completely new shoe from the brand. Um, we're gonna be doing 10 miles, just pretty relaxed. I'll speed up a bit at times to see how that feels, but there's no real plan out today. Just enjoy the 10 miles, see how it goes. Well, I'm all done. Uh, that was a really enjoyable run. So it's one of those runs where you just set out and you feel like you're breezing along and you look down the paces. It's higher than expected. Yeah, I felt very comfortable all the way and shoes were a, very, were a real pleasant surprise. First started, they really felt the softness of that insole and I wondered if it was gonna you know, sink in a bit and then you'd be hitting the foam underneath. And no, it was pretty comfortable all the way, especially when kind of cruising along. Um, when I did up the pace, chucked in some um, strides and uh, just generally ran a few K quite fast on a nice flat section. I was, I was noticing the feeling under my forefoot a bit more. So I think and as part of my running style as a heel striker, I, it's got quite a snappy transition to shoe when you start pushing a bit harder and that snap over time would probably wear on my forefoot a bit. Uh, so maybe perhaps the stack isn't quite high enough there for my liking or, you know, if you had a rocker on the shoe, it would um, it would feel a bit smoother going through rather than that snap, but that snap feels nice. It does feel pacey. It's a pretty nimble shoe. Um, yeah, I'm a bit surprised. That's, uh, yeah, it was a good shoe. I, I enjoyed that today. Like I've been testing out some solid little shoes lately, like the Adidas uh, Adi Zero SL or the New Balance Rebel V3, kind of taking my first runs in all of them. And this is right up there. I feel like I really enjoyed that run today. You know, the price, we'll talk about the price in the verdict. That's always going to be the sticking point here. But yeah, it was an enjoyable run. And the other other big downside is that, uh, that there was a muddy section and now they don't look very nice. And I picked up a bit of mud on that, you know, that bit, that pit, that bit of the front of the shoe where you flick up puddles onto it. But hey, that's, uh, that's going to be the case. You're going to reuse these for running. They're going to get dirty and they won't look quite so nice. But yeah, really 
just an enjoyable run all round today and the shoe was part of that and it surprised me. It's, it's a pretty nice shoe. So you can't talk about the Elliott Runner without really taking into account the price and it's a really high price uh, and what you're paying for really is the design side of it here. Like it's a shoe that will appeal to more than just runners and that's why the price has gone up a bit but as an actual running shoe I do like it. Uh, I enjoyed that first run in it. I'm looking forward to getting out in it again. I have some long-term concerns about whether that softer insole uh, will compress and stay compressed after a while and then you, you'll get more of the feeling of the firmer midsole underneath but you know that's a concern we'll address in the full review but won't didn't get that today obviously it was the first run in the shoe but over the 10 miles it did feel comfortable when i was pushing the pace for extended sections i would get a bit of forefoot fatigue in the shoe just because of probably my running style but so you know i'd like a bit more cushion under there or maybe a slight rocker design but all in all the run felt really nice very comfortable at the easier paces and good at the faster paces too now, as we say it's 198 pounds or dollars you are going to get shoes that are better than it for less for the same role there's a socking endorphin speed three straight off the top of my head you know, if you're just thinking about price and performance, go and get that shoe. But if you like the design, if you want to go matchy matchy like I did today with, with a sash top and a sash shoe, it's, it's, it's a good shoe to run in. And if the price doesn't bother you, you'll probably enjoy it for running. But no, if you're just looking at straight running performance and value, it's not one that people are going to need to have in their lineup. There are lots of great shoes out there for less. I, but it undoubtedly impressed me today on the run, and that's good. It's nice that it's a good shoe. And it, if you want a really nice looking shoe from Tracksmith and you don't mind the price and you want it to actually still run well, then it does run well. Uh, it will get dirty though, and it's really dirty already. So I've got those black marks on the forefoot now, and that's that, I guess, in terms of looks, because getting those out is going to be very hard. That's it, that is our first run review of the Tracksmith Elliott Runner. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Is this a shoe you're interested in uh, buying? Obviously, talk about, you can talk about the price in the comments below. I'm sure lots of people would like to. There's maybe name, you know, get a nice list of daily trainers going that you can get for less. But so design's very nice, performance is good, price is very high, and that's probably gonna be the key factor for most people. Please do like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.